Hello. If you are in my DGST 301A creative coding class, we are going to be using Discord in this class. Discord is a service for chatting and sharing and talking informally. It's often used by people who play video games together or work on things together. It is like Slack or other collaboration software in that it provides very quick, immediate access in terms of communication, and it also provides different ways to share files and media uh, pretty conveniently and easily. So it's a good augmentation for the kind of communication we already have set up in Canvas, email, and other places. You may have used Discord before, may, you may not have, so I thought it would be helpful, either way, I thought it'd be helpful to talk about how to use, Get, uh, sorry, how to use Discord and uh, how we're going to be using it. So let me switch over here to show you uh, a bit with Discord. Now I've already created this particular server and people are using it, so I'm gonna try not to show those names on here. Um, I'm gonna try to keep this anonymous uh, at this point for this class. Uh, but uh, this, is, this is really it. You do have to create a Discord account, it's free. And then there's a join server link that I've shared in Canvas. You have to click that and then you can join the server. So this is the server for my Creative Coding 2020 class and I've got three channels so far. These are all text channels, general troubleshooting and critique. And as you can expect, you just start typing. This is me typing in uh, troubleshooting. Um, I'm gonna delete these messages later probably, but it's very simple, you type. And as you notice here, I typed the hash and then the channel name. And this is how you can refer, from, uh, refer to a channel by name. Uh, from another channel. You can also do things like type at uh, everyone and that would send a notification to everyone in this server. There's I think eight of us right now. Or you could do uh, at he here, which would just send a notice to everyone that's online. Or if there's a specific person, you could type at and then start typing their username and it should pop up as an option to autocomplete in the server and then you can do that. I'm not gonna do that here because that would show, show some names. Now within Discord, uh, much like Slack or other places, you can respond to people by uh, typing their name and then, you know, um, saying hello or whatever you need to. Um, you can also uh, respond by hovering over the message and clicking on add reaction. Sometimes this is easier to do just to acknowledge that you've seen a message than, than typing something in and I like doing things that way. Um, you can also share a GIF re response. Let's see. We'll just find, I don't know what this is. Okay, we'll just do this guy. Um, and, you know, you can say hello uh, that way. It's another way to provide an informal communication channel. Um, now, within the message, we're going to be talking about code a lot here. And so in this message, if you're trying to talk about code or share code, sometimes it's helpful to know how to format this. So as you're writing, you can format things with markdown syntax. Um, like that, so two, ha two asterisks on either side of some text will make it bold. Um, but oftentimes we'll be talking about code. Uh, so for example, when you want to write code, put a back tick. That's this one here at the top left of my keyboard around what you want to make into code. And it'll just make it print in a, in a different format. Sometimes that's useful, especially if we're talking about Python because Python, white space, tab spaces make a big difference in Python. And so if you're trying to share a piece of code with me that doesn't work, uh, I need to see what it actually looks like. And if you try to type it in here, it may not be formatted right and formatting could be the problem. And so I wanna make sure I can see it. If you need to do a block of code, you can do a block of code with three back ticks like so, so you can do one, two, three, and then I did, I'm gonna hold shift enter to make a new line, but you don't, I guess I don't have to. I'll just do three, three back ticks there and say, uh, do some, some Python code, uh, import random, and then um, prints, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. This is a basic um, code. I don't even think this would work, uh, but, that's not the point. And so I'll do three back ticks in that code block and then it'll show up as a block like that. And that looks much like you would expect Python to be written. And you can copy and paste this into a, a code editor and, and run that code somewhere else if, you're, if that's what you're doing in this case. Um, you can also share files. So you can click here and then if you have um, a code file, like a script file, and you just wanna share the whole thing, you can share it that way as well. And that's helpful. 
Um, you can also do video chat and voice chat within Discord. Those are part. Those are aspects of the the, uh, the private messaging system within Discord. We could we could do that as a class. We're small enough that we could put ourselves all into one DM conversation and have a video conference if we want to do that ever. Uh, but mainly, I think that would be a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. So you can start a message with me. I'm not going to do this when you, with anyone, but if you uh, click on a profile, my profile, if you see me in it, typing a message or if you see me in the members list, um, you can type uh, type a message after clicking on my name and then that will start a DM thread for us and then it'll show up in my list of DMs. Again, I'm not going to show you personal DMs at this point, but that's how you use it. Um, I am. I always have Discord on my phone and it pops up whenever someone uses it. So if you want to get in touch with me, often that's a quicker way to, to, for me to see something than email. So I recommend using Discord. Um, other thing, I mean, email works, Canvas works as well, but Discord can be much quicker and also much more efficient if we have to go back and forth to help troubleshoot something. And uh, that's basically it for Discord. Um, it's something that I can't, I think can be very useful. It has certain pros and cons compared with other things like Slack or Teams, but uh, I like, I, I've grown to like Discord for this, this class in particular. So uh, that's what I'd like for us to use. Um, hopefully it works well for you, but if you have questions or issues with it, please uh, let me know and we can make sure to get those questions answered or those issues resolved if possible. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Actually, just kidding. I just thought of one more thing I forgot to mention in explaining Discord, which is how we're going to be using the different channels. This is the troubleshooting channel, so hopefully the title of that is pretty self-explanatory. The idea is that when you're having trouble, you can troubleshoot it here. Oftentimes when you're writing code, you're going to run into trouble. It happens to me all the time. So this is the place where you can ask for help. Sometimes it might just take someone else looking at the same code that you've been staring at for hours and they'll immediately see the issue and tell you how to fix it. Uh, I might be able to do that, but one of your colleagues might be able to do that as well. Uh, in other words, you should all be checking this channel, and if someone poses a question and you think you have an answer, go ahead and you know answer. See if you can help them out. That's uh, that's what this is. That's why we're in a class. That's why we're a community to get community together. Uh, the other channel that I wanted to explain uh, is critique. So general is just sort of whatever. Um, there's some content there already, so I'm not going to click into that. But general is just if you're not sure where else to ask a question or or say something or share something, that's the, what general is for, and I'll use that for announcements and other things too. Um, but Critique is a place where once you're done with a project or you think you're done, this is a place where you can share it and get some feedback. So by sharing it in Critique, you are ag agreeing to let other people critique it to give you some, some hopefully helpful feedback. Now, as you give people that feedback, of course, we want to be constructive. We also want to be supportive. So it's always good to be specific in any uh, shortcomings that you identify or limitations or ways that you realize something is not being as successful as it could be. And so uh, we'll talk about uh, how to be supportive in critique, um, but this is a place where by sharing it, you're, you're accepting critique. So it takes two sides. It takes both being patient, um, with your, with, uh, patient and kind with your commentary, with your feedback that you provide, but also as a receiver of feedback, it's being willing to accept that. And it's important. It's an important part of the creative process. And so I want to have a channel set up just for that. Now, if you, you are not required to use this for every project, uh, there are some projects that you may feel are too personal to share in this environment, and that's acceptable, that's fine. But I do want you to use it at least sometimes, and this is uh, a place to do that. So uh, that's critique, and that's our use. We may end up making more channels throughout the semester, but I I'd rather not. I'd rather keep it pretty simple. And that really is all I have to say about Discord now. So uh, again, thank you for watching, and have a great day.